Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're doing a Q&A. Um, I had a bunch of you guys ask some really, really good questions on my Instagram for me to answer in this video today. So thank you to everybody who participated. You guys had a lot of great things to say. So first I'm gonna go off the fitness questions and then we'll go to more personal ones. So let's see. I had to write them all down and write down answers so I wasn't sitting here the whole time like trying to answer your guys' questions. So some of the questions were pretty similar, so I grouped them into one, but I'm answering for all of you guys. Um, so basically, so the first question is, what do you recommend you start, or what? So the first question is, what do you recommend to start with when you first start going to the gym? That was a great question because I know it's very intimidating for a lot of people to start going to the gym. I think what's great for firsts, um, is keeping it basic honestly you don't need to do all those complex exercises because you're getting your foot in the door machines are really really great for firsts um i say that because usually machines will have a picture um on it i mean at least the ones at my gym do but usually they have a photo and then i think like instructions on how to do that exercise or they have the name and what you can do is just go to that machine and then sit there and Google it and see um, the photos of like how to do it. So that is always an option. Don't be afraid to take a machine for a little longer because you're learning and you're starting. And everybody gets that, everybody's been there. So I'll keep, I'll give you a couple of my favorite machine workouts. Um, it is, it'll get your all over legs. My favorite ones are leg press, leg extensions, hamstring curls, hip extension, I think that's what it's called, standing calf raises, and if your gym has a hip thrust machine, hip thrust machine. It is the best, my absolute favorite booty grower ever. Um, all right, let's get to the next question. So how do you manage a consistent workout routine while working or going to school, etc.? That is also a really great question. I have struggled with that so much in the past. Um, really, it depends on your schedule and what you can make time for. If you have a typical nine to five job, I would recommend just what really helps is saying, okay, at this time, every single day, I am going to the gym and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk in that building for an hour and be done. And that's my dedicated time because that's what I've done in the past. And if you get off at five at work, then make six o'clock your go to the gym schedule. If your job is not as flexible and it differs in between hours, then just plan around it. So if you're working nine to 12, then say, okay, at one o'clock or whenever, I'm going to the gym, okay? But let's say the next day you're working 10 to six, okay, then you plan for that day being like, Okay, I'm gonna go at seven. So I say, basically, I don't wanna go too long with this, but basically it's just helpful to plan ahead and stick to that one time that you said. Um, something that helped me is someone posted and it said, are you gonna watch 60 minutes of Netflix or are you going to go to the gym for 60 minutes? Priorities, right? All about that balance and the how to schedule your time properly. Um, all right, next question. How long did it take for you to see significant changes? I got a lot of those <laughs> questions. Um, basically, um, I know a lot of you guys are talking about my transformation photos on my Instagram, um, but basically in those photos, it did. It was a good year and a half for me, um, but I did, I had worked out before and I mean, I was just, I was very skinny. Um, here's a photo. <laughs> I was really, really little. Um, and I just did not know how to put on weight at all. I, mean, I thought I was eating a lot and I don't, just definitely wasn't. Um, but So I finally started going to the gym uh, and I was not eating with that. So I did get toned. I did get a little bit more muscle that I've never seen before on my body, but um, I did not put on weight really and I plateaued bad. Like it was just the same. But to be fair, I was not pushing myself. I was like, 
I'm here, whatever, it's fine. Like I'm gonna do the same exercises, same weight, same everything, like I was not pushing myself. So that plays a huge part. So then it finally clicked and I was like, oh, you know what? I should probably eat and go to the gym. And I did that and <laughs> I just started putting on weight because I stayed consistent with both of those. But yeah, so I guarantee if you are consistent with eating and Wow, I was about to say eating a food. <laughs> if you're consistent with food and working out and you need to get sleep, that is also a big thing. But if you are consistent with those, you will see a difference. But you need to be consistent and you have to up the weight and push yourself. Because if you are not pushing yourself and you're really just half it, you're not gonna get anywhere and your body's not gonna be challenged. So there's really no point for you to even go to the gym if you're not changing anything or challenging yourself. So, all right, next question. What are the top things you recommend for gaining bigger glutes? That's also a great question. So I would say biggest thing for me that helped was eating in a calorie surplus. Surplus. Um, according to your body type though, not everybody is supposed to get the same, the same calories. Um, how I figure that out. I've mentioned it in my last, or I've mentioned it in my videos before, but I use the app MyFitnessPal, and I know there's a lot of other apps that you could use too, but um, basically plugged in my weight, my height, and my goal on gaining weight, and it gave me uh, it gave me an estimate of how many calories I should be eating. So mine is 2,660 calories a day, but again, that's my body type. My 2660 calories does not apply to everybody. So go ahead and download that app and see what applies to you. But yeah, that is a huge thing is you need to eat to gain bigger glutes. You need to go to the gym consistently and a lot, but not too much, but at least three to four days a week, at least. Um, and I would consider maybe an hour every time, an hour or more up to you. I mean, that's what worked for me. So, but make sure you don't just eat a lot and not go to the gym because you're gonna probably put on fat than muscle more so. And you're probably gonna gain a lot of weight that you didn't wanna gain because <laughs> I've been there, so. Uh, and then you really, really need to focus on doing the right exercises like hip thrusts, etc. Go ahead and watch my most effective booty targeting um, exercise video. I threw all of my favorite booty exercises into that video, so go check that out because that's gonna summarize it all up for you. So I think if you do those exercises and eat a lot and stay consistent with all of it, then you will gain glutes. So, all right, next question. How did you motivate yourself to start your fitness pro process when you first started? Oh my gosh, it was honestly really hard to stay motivated. Um, some days I was very on and off with it, which I think everybody is. But what kept me going and what did help was honestly seeing my progress. When I started seeing muscle definition for being as skinny as I was, when I started seeing biceps or quads, I was like, oh my gosh, what? Like it's working? So that really helped me. Honestly, what keeps me motivated too is the gym just makes me feel good. It makes me feel better. I feel more clear-minded while working out. So another one, um, working out with a friend is also very motivating. I think it is comfortable to be able to have someone with you. Um, it's nice when you're able to go with somebody who will push you as well, or you're able to push them. Uh, it is hard though when you guys both lose motivation and you're both like relying on each other but you both don't have it so you kind of chill. I've been there. <laughs> but that honestly is helpful. I love working out with my boyfriend. Like it's, it's always nice having him there. It's good to have somebody there to push you. Another thing that's motivating for me is when I just did not have any motivation. I was so tired. I did not want to go to the gym. I would look at these fitness women on Instagram and I would just browse through their videos and see their exercises, maybe save some of them to incorporate in my workout routine. Um, and that that's really helpful, honestly. I mean, for me at least, it always helped me to see someone working out really hard because I was like, okay, like it makes me kind of want to work out super hard too. So that's another thing that um, you guys can try. 
but yeah, I can list all my faves right here. My fave IG fitness girls. Okay, next question. Um, so how do you deal with reduced appetite? Oh, uh, I cannot explain to you how many times I've struggled with my appetite and honestly I wish I had an answer for you I really did I wish I had an answer for myself because I still don't know <laughs> sometimes mine just vanishes for weeks and I don't know why um, but basically I just push through I just keep eating even if I don't want to because nothing sounds good but I just keep going really um, do I have the days where I really don't eat because I'm not appetite yes I honestly do have some of those days but yeah I wish I had an answer for you let me know when you figure it out or if anyone figures it out because I'd love to know the cure <laughs> so, all right next question so do you drink shakes yes I do I don't live off shakes but yes I will drink one before my morning workouts um, or I will drink them after my workouts or you know blend a smoothie with the protein powder um, basically so I use this Orgain protein um, it's really good with rice milk or oat milk it gives it that really creamy flavor I really like it um, and I am dairy free so both of my options are dairy free as well and they're really good and then I also have this pea protein and I like this one because it is unflavored and I can add it into smoothies. I can add it into like my pancake mix for like protein pancakes. Um, just whatever I want. It's kind of nice because I can make whatever flavor. So I really like that one and it comes in a massive, <laughs> massive container and I feel like it lasts me forever. <laughs> so that's also great. All right, next question. What's the best thing you can eat slash drink to gain weight? Honestly, just a bunch of high calorie foods. I know there's a good amount out there. I have a video too on what I eat in a day and I have a lot of good high calorie healthy meals on there if you guys wanna check that out. But I would say get your protein because the protein will recover your muscles. I don't feel like there's a specific thing other than high calorie foods um, like oatmeal. That is a high calorie healthier food. There's nuts. That's a great high calorie food. Got some on me right now. I'll, I'll snack these throughout the day because these are good gainers because 16 almonds is 150 calories. So um, nuts are a great way to go for that. You can make like high calorie shakes. Like I'll get my pea protein and I'll do two cups of rice milk, two scoops of pea protein um, and then I'll add like almond butter and oats to that too because almond butter and oats are very high calorie and then blend that all up and um, so you can do those as well just kind of get those high calorie things and put them all together if you want all right next question is it okay for persons with little appetite take something to help them put in the calories I honestly don't understand that question <laughs> I don't really know exactly what you mean if you want to dm me i would love to try to answer that for you i'm so sorry <laughs> i wish i could answer that for you i think it's okay but i honestly couldn't tell you <laughs> all right next question this one's a good one where do you get food and recipe ideas yeah that's a good one so i just follow a bunch of instagram food pages and their videos are typically just quick straight to the point videos that make it make they make cooking look really easy but um, I honestly get ideas from them. So I'm not very creative with food at all. So when I see someone post like a very creative idea or something that looks really good, but it's easy, I'm like, oh my gosh, I could totally do that. And then I go to the store because they usually have all the ingredients out for you and step-by-step -step what they do. So I can list a couple of those for you guys on who I follow. There's a lot out there, a lot of good ones. Um, but yeah, that's... That's what I do. Instagram, Instagram helps me. And Pinterest, Pinterest helps a lot too. Next question, how do you determine what exercises to do? All machines scare me. Girl, I feel you. <laughs> it can be really intimidating sometimes, it really can. Um, but don't let them scare you because they actually are a great way to start your fitness journey. So 
Um, but how do I determine what exercise to do? I follow a lot of Instagram fitness people, like I've said, that helps me so much. I will save certain workout videos that inspire me a lot or that I want to incorporate into my workout routines. Um, I'll hit that save button and save it to my workouts, my workouts album thing on Instagram. I don't know what it's called, I think collections. Um, but anyways, I save it to that. So then if I am not sure what to work out or if I want to incorporate new things, I'll go click on my, my saved thing and look through all the workouts I've saved. And it's helped me so much. And that's honestly where I get probably the majority of my workouts. Um, that and my boyfriend, he helps me a lot with that too by giving me new ones to do. But following Instagram people, I'll list that again. They're great. They really are. They're so helpful and they tell you exactly what they do. All right, so next question. How much cardio do you incorporate into your strength training routine? So I honestly just barely started doing cardio. So I honestly just kept hearing that if you did cardio, you would lose weight more so than put on weight. And I didn't want that. So I was constantly like, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna heavy lift and that's it. Because I saw a lot of Instagram fitness people doing that. So that's what I did. And so I just barely started incorporating um, cardio into my workouts. So every morning I go to the gym and I go on the treadmill for just about 15 minutes um, on incline and then I just walk really fast. Uh, I, don't, I don't jog or run, I just walk for 15 minutes and I love it guys. I don't know why I've not done cardio before but I always found myself like getting really tired um, on leg day doing certain cardio um, workouts like squats and stuff. I found myself just always being like, <sighs> you know, like just winded and I was like, I go all the time. Why am I so out of shape? You know, but I literally just went like three mornings in a row and then I did legs and I felt invincible. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, let's keep squatting. I can go forever. Like, cause my heart was like able to take care of me and my lungs were used to it. You know what I mean? So I just, don't know why I didn't do that earlier, but yeah, not to go off, sorry. I really suggest you guys incorporate that into your strength training as well, or unless you're better than me and you already have. <laughs> Next question. Can you do a gym buddy workout for those who go with friends, AKA let's make a video. Girl, you know, you know I would love to make a video. <laughs> I actually have been thinking about doing a gym buddy uh, workout video for a while now. So that will be coming very, very soon. Don't you worry. All right, next question. Do you follow a meal plan? I can work out, but food is where I'm stuck. I have so been there. Oh my gosh. Food is harder than the gym, honestly. Yeah, so no, I don't follow a meal a meal plan. I've kind of figured it out along the way, but yes, it took me a while to figure it out. Again, I'll just find those like Instagram food videos and kind of try to incorporate that or I do come from a healthy family, so they'll give me ideas, or my boyfriend is so creative with food and he gives me ideas all the time. Um, but yeah, food is difficult. I suggest following those Instagram accounts that cook um, because that's really helpful. And also I'm going to be making a meal prep video for you guys, hopefully here pretty soon. So stay tuned for that and then maybe you can follow my meal plan. Also, to mention it again, I do have my food video up on what I eat in a day, so go ahead and check that out if you need some ideas. I hopefully had some good ones in there. But girl, you got this. Don't give up. It will be so worth it. You got this. All right, next question. How much protein slash calories should you be eating to see a change in glutes? Again, it really goes with body type. Um, but what I've heard is you'll take every one gram of protein per body weight if that makes any sense at all so right now i'm weighing 137 so i would try to get 137 grams of protein per day so that is what i've heard um i don't follow it i think as long as you're just getting a good amount of protein you'll be okay. Eat a lot and never feel hungry. I always make sure I'm not sitting there ever feeling hungry. I'm always snacking or I always make sure I have three big meals, but in between that, I always have my like nuts or high calorie snacks. So just never feel hungry. 
eat a lot and go to the gym so we don't get gain unwanted fat. All right, next question. Where do you get most of your clothes? I'm looking for new tank tops. I mostly shop at H&M, Cotton On, Fashion Nova, Forever 21, Paxson, OOTD Fash, and the list literally goes on forever. I love clothes and I love browsing every single online clothing store there is. <laughs> um, that's where I mostly get my casual clothes. Where do you buy your workout clothes? So my black leggings and like my camo leggings, those are from Lululemon. I love Lululemon. You guys need to try their aligns if you haven't already. Or their runners leggings are great too because they don't ball up when you move around too much. Um, but those aligns, they just hold you so well. Oh my gosh, like they're so flattering. Like I I love Lululemon leggings. They're always, they're always to here, they're always the top. But uh, what I just discovered is Bow and T by Opali. And they have really good stuff too. Um, I had I got my pink leggings from them, and they're squat proof. They hold me so well. They're so comfortable. They're just really flattering. I love finding clothes that are very flattering and not too tight. I just don't like it when they flatten my butt. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't think any of us want leggings that flatten our butt. So yeah, there's do not. There's are very flattering and yeah, very, very comfortable. Next question. Actually, next question after my coffee break. Okay, next question. So what shoes do you wear to the gym? I will just show you guys what I wear. Okay, so these are honestly my almost every single day shoe. Yes, they're dirty. Okay. Um. These are my Adidas Ultra Boosts. I love them so much. They really hold your heel right here. Um, I can literally put my finger through here. <laughs> but they hold your heel. Wow, your arch. They hold your arch uh, really well. They're extremely comfortable and like bouncy. So like I really like walking in them. But I wouldn't recommend these for leg day because even though I wear them on leg day, okay? Um, you're supposed to wear flat-footed shoes while you deadlift or squat. I still honestly, honestly guys, I don't really know why. I need to do my research. These are my other faves. These are also Adidas Cloud Foam. I couldn't tell you the name, I'm so sorry, but these are also great. And then I also have these Nikes. They're really cute. They're like an olive green color and I just went in my closet and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I apologize. But basically any sneaker is really good. Oh, I do work out in my Converse on leg days too because those are flat footed. So you could do that as well. All right guys, next question. Your hair is so long and gorgeous. It is your, is it your own hair and did you use anything for them? That is so sweet of you. Thank you. I do try with my hair. I try to make it look pretty. Yeah, no, this is not my real hair. My real hair goes, it's pretty long. That's my real hair. Um, but these are much, much longer <laughs> by probably like four inches. But I just love the long hair look. So yeah, no, these are clip-ins. I got them from insert name here. They're great. And I don't know if I understand the, did you use anything for them? I think what you mean is, is the products I use, I think. Um, but basically all I do, I mean, I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I do have access to those professional products. So I always am using really more high-end shampoos and conditioners. And then I do use, um, it's called One United. It's like 30 different benefits. And it's a heat protectant, a leave-in conditioner, all, detangler just all sorts of things so i do use that i'll pop it up on the screen and then um occasionally i'll use a bio silk coconut oil for after styling my hair i'll just throw it in there but yeah thanks again for the compliment next question besides fitness and modeling do you have a career uh, yes, I am a licensed cosmetologist, but I went down the route of lash extensions, so I am a lash artist. 
that is my career. All right, I got two more questions. You're amazingly gorgeous and so is your Quincy. Thank you. How did you guys meet? We met, wait for it, at the gym. <laughs> So yeah, no seriously, we actually did meet at the gym. He has these really nice dreads. I'll post a picture here. Oh, he's gorgeous, but I fell in love with his dreads. Okay, I didn't fall in love with his dreads, but that really stood out to me. That was a very attractive part. Um, but yes, basically his whole look, he, he just, he was really, really handsome to me. Um, he just stood out. I'm going off, but he just stood out to me and yeah so I got my sister's boyfriend to go grab his number because I was really nervous because I mean he is fine as well so I was honestly nervous to go grab his number so he went and did it for me and then we all went on a double date and then me and Quincy went on our own date and you know we just hit it off we've been dating for a year and a couple weeks now um yeah last question how tall are you i am five nine well technically five eight and a half but i like to say five nine so that's all thank you guys so much for participating this was really fun to do let me know if i should do another one about more personal questions or whatever you guys want to know but again thank you guys so much for asking all the questions I hope you enjoyed it and I really really hope I answered those pretty thoroughly. Let me know if I didn't, comment down below if I didn't or DM me and I will try my best to get back to you and answer those questions better. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching!